Welcome STEM engineers. Today we are going to be building paper bridges. To be able to do this activity you will need a couple sheets of paper, probably more than a couple if you want to test a lot of different types of bridges. Something to support the bridge so that it is off the table. I use a couple library books, shoe boxes, plastic totes, anything like that will work, as well as something to test the weight of the bridges. Today I'm going to be using some small rocks that I found in my driveway. So the first thing you need to do is set your bridge piers a certain distance apart. So for today's activity, I'm going to be setting my bridge piers six inches apart so that the span of my bridge has to cross over that. Now my actual bridge is gonna to have to be longer than six inches because it's going to need to have part of it on those piers and not drop straight down in between them. So working my way through the engineering design process, the first thing I want to think about is what is my challenge? Well, my challenge is that I need to build the strongest bridge possible and my bridge design can only use two sheets of paper. No tape, nothing else, just two sheets of paper. So now I need to start brainstorming and think how can I use paper in different ways that will make it stronger? So the simplest thing is if I think of a sheet of paper, I could just lay this sheet of paper across my piers, but I have a feeling this is not gonna be very strong because what I know about paper is paper itself is not very strong. So then I need to think about how can I fold the paper to make this paper stronger? Can I double it up or even quadruple it up to make it stronger? Can I fold it in certain ways that make it a stronger bridge? Those kind of ideas are the ones that are going to help you build a much stronger bridge today. Now my next step after I brainstormed is I need to build a couple of those bridges. Then I'm going to need to test them and conduct my experiment to see which one holds the most rocks. And that may cause me to think, oh, well, this didn't really work, but I bet I could do it differently and make this work better. So it might give you some different ideas and then have you building additional bridges to test. And finally, you're going to come to your conclusion as to which is the best way to fold the paper bridge. And you also might want to set a challenge for yourself of how many rocks can your bridge hold. Now, I'm not going to give you that number because I don't know that your rocks are bigger or smaller than mine, or you may be using different types of weights. I also have these um, gemstones, but I tried, I tested my bridges with these gemstones earlier and discovered that I ran out of space on my bridge before my bridge collapsed in some cases. So I ended up putting these aside and going back to using rocks. So here's my experiment all set up. I've got my two books and they are six inches apart. And I've got several different bridge models that I want to test from a basic folded piece of paper to a piece of paper that's folded in to fourths to a truss bridge type style to even folding like a corrugated piece of cardboard style. And I'm going to test each of these bridges and see which one is the best and see if it gives me even more ideas about how to continue building these. Now as you're testing you may find that a bridge has a weakness you hadn't anticipated and the paper folds. Once that paper folds and the bridge collapses because we're going to cons consider the bridge a failure if if the weights can't stay on the bridge, or if the bridge touches the surface of the table that you're building on. So if you have a failure of a bridge, but you think that that bridge is still a very good bridge and you wanna continue using it, you really need to start with a fresh piece of paper because once that paper folds, there is an inherent weakness in that sheet of paper and you really can't use it anymore. So initially I did some testing on this truss bridge and I tested it until it collapsed. And for me, this bridge held about, I think it was like seven, five or seven rocks. But once this bridge had folded and collapsed once, when I tried to retest using this exact same bridge, I couldn't put a single rock on it without it collapsing. So be careful of that. Once a bridge collapses and fails, if you like the design, grab a fresh sheet of paper and redesign it because this one is not going to do the same job as a fresh one. All right, so here is a quick recap of today's instructions. Paper bridge rules. Using only two sheets of paper per bridge, design several bridge styles. Bridge support should be six inches apart, 
Test each bridge with weights. Track how many weights each bridge holds. What is your best design? Can you improve on your best design in some way?